Hi everyone and welcome to High Valley Couponer. So today I'm here with January Couponing Month in Review. That's right, it is time to talk January and what all happened in January. So really awesome month couponing. As you saw from this thumbnail, over $900 worth of stuff for, and I'm going to tell you guys that amount in the end. I do want to remind you guys when you hear how much all this cost, it's actually not the amount I paid out of pocket because for most of January, I've actually paid nothing because I've been rolling the PayPal money um, with the card and Walmart gift cards. So I've really not been paying anything. However, I have definitely taken drops in store rewards and I've dropped on my PayPal balance and stuff like that. So that's kind of it. Like I gave up. I blew my ECBs. So like on one of the hauls, the total is like $25, but I used a lot of ECBs. So in a sense, I really didn't spend that much, but I lost on the ECB. So I just give you guys net cost because that's the cost that you guys are going to duplicate it as. But just so you know, I rolled a lot of rebate or rolled the PayPal money and the gift card. So really, I, I didn't pay out of pocket hardly at all. All right, so let's just talk some quick goals for a second. First up, though, I did these last year for a long time until I think November when I completely can't believe I did this. I accidentally deleted them. I deleted all the pictures and that broke my heart, seriously. So I just gave up on the series, um, but I want to bring it back for this, for this year because I just think it's I've missed it. I have really missed not coming on here, showing what I got, seeing what I spent and saved um, and everything like that. So... Some goals real quick. I always want to roll the PayPal money and gift cards. I don't ever want to swipe a bank card or a credit card ever again for couponing. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm not going to do it. I, I know a lot of you guys probably are like, what's the point in all this? Well, basically for me, let's say you shop at CVS. Do you go in there and pay $50 every week to get $50 back in extra bucks? No. So I'm tired of spending $50, $100 on couponing every week. And yeah, you do get it back in a sense. But to never have to, to do that one-time initial investment, have that money in your PayPal and never spend again, that's just amazing to me. So I'm loving that. Um, so I'm going to do it for everything but groceries, all household and HBA as much as I can. Um, I'm going to try to do it. Um, I want to do these videos every single month and do a big end of the year grand finale like I planned to do last year but failed. And I don't want to be so OCD about my hauls all the time. I always want to be 100% free. That's not always realistic especially not in the new format kind of thing I'm doing with the PayPal card. I got to accept that's not always going to be free. So yeah, let's just get into this and look at what I did for January. Okay, so first haul was actually from the Dollar General in Kroger. I got a Cottonell, three Trivias. That Trivia at DG was awesome this month. I got some Centrum and then I got a Bic Razor. This is a five off 25 deal. I remember I ran in, I paid like $5. Fetch rewards at $2.50 back on the Cottonell. And I bought it, had a rebate. I think it was $1.50 on the Trivia with a limit of three. I got back so many rebates. Or no, it was a dollar on the Trivia? Something like that. It wound up being like an 80 cents money maker for Dollar General. And then Kroger was just free because those Luna bars were a dollar each. And there was a 50 cents I bought it and a 50 cent KCB. Just making those totally free. Here's my biggest haul of the year. Um, this was the weekend we got all those inserts. Um, this was Dollar General, Kroger, Walgreens, Walmart, CBS, and Rite Aid. That was insane. I only do that like once a year ago. That crazy. Um, that day in Black Friday. And I, um, you're seeing net loss in cash and rewards was twenty four sixty four because I did. I took a major dive in reward money at CVS. So the net cost was really higher because I spent all of my rewards. But really out of pocket, I didn't spend that much. Um, I don't know the exact out of pocket, but all I know is after this haul, after this haul you're seeing right here, I never paid out of pocket for couponing again. Never did because that's when I got my PayPal card and just started rolling everything. So these were crazy money makers. Um, I did the trivia, I drove to Dollar General. That right guard was awesome. That was some overage. The clinger app is a great deal. That Barilla protein was awesome. And I loaded up on paper goods and all the Pfizer medications. That was so much fun. Um, Oh my gosh, it was just a great trip. I was loading up on Noxema. This month I got really expensive stuff that I've had a hard time getting deals on in the past. So really awesome. And I just love this haul so much. Um, the Bic Razors is good overage. Um, just so much good stuff. Okay, and here was the first weekend I got my PayPal card in the mail and I never spent again. Never spent again after this. So all this awesomeness there was when the fun time started with the L'Oreal Catalina. That was on clearance for $2.79. I had a three off two coupon. Paid like $2.80 and got $5 Catalina. I rolled it many times. That was so much fun. Toilet paper. Uh, the Scott was a crazy deal over at Kroger. 
I made so much overage over at Walmart, I was able to utilize and get that Cottonelle. Also, it's a 256 um, moneymaker after bonuses. There was a bonus that I prorated somehow. Um, the Rubbermaid, that was a good moneymaker. The Pine Saw was a good deal. That Smuckers didn't work on Kroger Cash back, so I wasn't able to include that in there. I had to deduct that out, so that's why it would have actually been a bigger moneymaker, but it happened. Oh, and I did want to mention, this is actually a little bit less of a moneymaker because my Kroger Cash back, um, I didn't have it loaded or something, so that one did not work. Um, so I had to minus out 45 cents from that. So it actually was a money maker. It's still was a money maker of just um, a two dollars and eleven cents. Which hey, for this products, I'll take it. And here was a really awesome haul. Again, I went to Dollar General. I went to Dollar General a lot this month. I'm really looking forward to Dollar General next week with the clearance sale. So the cards were free over at DG, the Right Guard, and the Truvia. Um, Walmart, those white rain hairsprays were on clearance for 50 cents. The whales and animal crackers, they sent me free product coupons. Stay free. Oh my gosh. How many times have I gotten those? Toilet paper there. Um, the L'Oreal hairsprays. Lots of great stuff. Um, the GFB bars, those were always in it, it seems like. So really great stuff here. All right. This isn't one of my favorite hauls, believe it or not. It's smaller, but I really loved it because I got like the Lysol on the toilet paper. I seems like I got toilet paper all month long and that's awesome. I am so stocked on it right now. And that was something I, last year, I never got couponing. We just went to Sam's Club. I finally got so tired of buying it at Sam's Club. I was like, we're going to do this. We're going to start utilizing overage to get toilet paper. And that's what I've done. So all this stuff was actually 55 cents. For the Huggies wipes and the Lysol and all that. That's just amazing, y'all. That's an amazing deal. And of course, I was rolling the PayPal, so I didn't actually pay cash. But I technically lost 55 cents in the end. Here was that awesome haul over it. Um, I bought it. And I got all these free freebies and cheapies over at Sam's Club. Because they were doing that deal if I got a membership or whatever. We renewed it. Because um, we, we go there anyways for certain things that we would get these things on a really good deal. So that detergent was like three bucks. The trash bags were $4. The toilet paper was like eight bucks. And there's five big packs in there. The chicken and the water were free. And the rest of this is I bought us. This is when our current mega sale started and I loaded up the Royal Rice Seal. Love that deal. The soft soap, um, that rice vinegar, the deodorants. I love that spray deodorants. And then I was utilizing overage again on the Ibotta aspect of it because most of this actually was Sam's Club. Ibotta was only 33 cents. So like... Everything besides the Sam's Club stuff was 33 cents. So I got the Eucerin in there. That's my lotion my grandpa has to use. I got some Persil. I started getting free product coupons. So like the um, chicken and the sea tuna was in there. Oh, and I see the Maybelline. The Maybelline really helped this month keeping overage and keeping everything, my hauls in line. So yeah, this was Ibotta. Um, this I bought a haul and Sam's Club haul, which is awesome. So then... This was this week, and you can see the breakdowns for this now. Um, we have the detergent over at Family Dollar. These were 95 cents this week. The late July chip deal, the Vaseline at Walmart, the mock razors was good, and the Axe and Dove. Um, the Contendina, I love that deal. The Dial, I loved that one too. I just got some great stuff this month. Then here's my haul that went up today. So if you actually want to see the breakdowns for this, it'll be on the end screen on this video, so you guys can totally check that out. But I have all these things right here. So um, this is mainly using free product coupons like the Pop Chips, the Enlighten, the Sweet Lorraine's Cookies, the Brazi Bites, the Budig, utilizing free product coupons. And I have even more of those. I got some more today, so I'm so excited to use more. I got a great, I'm excited to go to Walmart um, later in the week. Um, I think I'm going to have to go down to the bigger one, though, to use some of these coupons. Um, the Royal Rice again, the Axe and Suave. I'm loving those deals. That Birth Beast toothpaste, I don't know why, but that's one of my favorites. I've never gotten that brand before couponing, so that was a really good deal. Um, just great stuff. The Ludens, I love the Ludens deal. Um, it's just been such a great, great month of couponing. So this is my end haul, the big end of the road kind of thing here. So basically, let's talk money. All this stuff retails $959.80. The net cost was $45.35. Remember though, I didn't spend, after that first haul, I never spent again, really. I just started rolling and rolling and rolling. So for February, even if the cost is, let's say $20, I really didn't put out $20. I was just rolling the gift cards around. So that's what I'm loving. And I'm feeling like I'm getting more comfortable with not having it always be free for that reason, because I have a set budget. 
So whatever's in that PayPal card, I can roll it and cash out. So like usually it hovers around the same amount. I started with like $38 yesterday. I got $32 in there now. So it's like rolling it constantly and I'm loving that. So yeah, that's all that I got for this um, January video and review. Let me know what your, maybe your favorite haul was or how you did in January. And thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah.